Hey everyone, we have covered two video games in Pygame, the snake game and tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe included a lot of functions and was a little complex. So this time we are gonna do something simple and easy. So see this video more like a practice session than a tutorial because it's just the new idea that would be uh, we'd be implementing. The modules and code are similar and known. Okay. Making a program in Pygame is all about working with various modules together and going about those three basic steps. I hope you understand that by now. In this video, we would be making a color breeze. We would see a shade of color gradually changing to the other and that color too would be randomly picked. It is going to be a simple program because after two video games, I wanted to give a pause uh, so that things don't get too much to handle. Okay. So a color breeze basically means rendering different colors on screen. So we initialize by game, get the screen, declare the clock object. We've got C1, C2 and C3, we, which we would be randomly picking from the range 0 to 255. You can use the random range function or random int. There is just a little difference. Random int includes both the endpoints, whereas random range just excludes the uh, endpoint. It does not include the endpoint. Uh, but right now, it would be better if you use rand int so that a 255 number is also included because there are components of RGB that uses 255. There are colors in RGB that uses the 255 number. So basically, C1, C2, and C3 are the red, green, and blue components that would set up the screen color. Then is our while loop and then the events loop in it. Now these conditions are to change the color, that is get different colors and we would only change value of any one component that is C1, C2 or C3 because we want something like a breeze and not colors just popping out of nowhere. The screen's color should change like a shade change very smooth. Okay. So for that, if the value of C1 is within 255, I hope you know about RGB colors. A component can't, uh, can't have a value above 255. So if the value is within 0 to 255, we add 1 to the existing value. Else if it's greater than 255, you decrease its value by 255 to make it within the given range. And if it goes negative or 0, you can increase value by 3. And then you give in these three components as fill functions, arguments. Now, if I run this, the screen gets various colors, great, and the color transition is smooth as I wanted, but after some time, this stops. What if I want to see this again or maybe restart the function? But I don't want to run this again. I want to use the mouse and reset this whole thing. This would not set up the Pygame window over and over and would let you start from a new color, let you see a new color breeze just by a mouse click. We used the mouse module last time. So let me define a function, reset. What reset would do is it would simply reset the C1, C2, C3 variables. So let me declare C1, C2 and C3 to be global variables and reset them just like this. Okay. And if I want this function to be called on a mouse click, I would check for an event called mouse button down and call this function. So whenever I click on mouse, the program restarts. Let me print mouse clicked here. Whenever I click on mouse, you would see this message printed. Now if I run this, I see the color breeze. And if I now click on the mouse, I get this message printed, mouse clicked. And the color breeze, uh, it's a new color altogether. I can see a new color on the screen whenever I click on the mouse. So the reset function is working quite fine. You can try to work with some more functionalities, just like we introduced reset. You can add in some more functionalities, like you can try doing this with a text, if the text color can be changed like a breeze, or you can add uh, in some music and rewind the music as, in we, as soon as we reset the color breeze. So please try to work uh, with some more functionalities, think of some more functionalities so that you are comfortable with working with all these Pygame modules. I hope you understood what we did here. Thank you.